The Warrior Cleanse. Keeping you clean so you can live the dream. Commit, transform, thrive. And now your warrior hostess, Diane Kayser. And the last one, number three, probiotics. What does probiotics mean? Pro means for, and biotics means life, so for life. Now, antibiotic means against life, so death. So one of the main reasons why probiotics are so necessary today is because we are so overusing antibiotics. You know, we get a cold, antibiotics. We just kind of use it to kill everything off, even acne. And of course, the root of a lot of acne is hormonal imbalance and sorts of things like pathogenic infections, but they're short-lived and our bugs, the bugs in our body are getting super duper resistant to the antibiotics. So it's crucial today that we start to pay more attention to what we use antibiotics for and not overuse them. So probiotics is the third key element. Probiotics are basically the healthy bacteria that live in our gut. And the statistics are around 85% you know, good bacteria to about 15% bad bacteria. That's about the ratio. There is a presence and a need for bad bacteria. And most Americans today are flopped. Like it's the other way around. Maybe 50-50, you know, even at 50-50, you're gonna start to see a lot of symptoms that I'm gonna talk about next. But most Americans are flip-flopped. So, Probiotics means for life and we definitely need to have more of those because it boosts our immunity. So if you really think about probiotics and you think about you know all these things together as a team, it really is going to increase our vitality and digestion is anti-aging if it's if it's functioning optimally. So why the decrease? Well, we're, again, we're overusing antibiotics, we're overusing a lot of drugs, a lot of the over-the-counters, we're overusing a lot of um, prescription drugs, we're also ingesting a lot of chemicals in the foods that we're eating today, so we're eating a lot of non-foods. And so a lot of these things you know, are very, very abrasive to our entire digestive tract, and alcohol, and cigarettes, and you know all the things that are negative, but even the healthiest person will still need probiotics, I think, for the rest of their life. So it's kind of like an insurance to make sure the healthy bacteria is proliferating and growing in the gut. To feed it also with prebiotics is very important. So the natural ways to get probiotics in your diet are things like, I'm sure you all have heard of yogurt. So I see a lot of commercials on TV, Activia, and all sorts of other things like Vidanin, you know, Fit, Fit Danin. Um, these yogurts contain a lot of sugar, so one of the things that I'm not a big fan of is you know, doing yogurts with a lot of added sugars and things of that nature, a lot of um, artificial coloring and flavoring. You know, and sometimes these yogurts don't have that many colony forming units, which I'm going to get into next. So they're really, really low um, probiotic life form in a lot of uh, yogurts, but you can still get them naturally. If you're going to do it, do organic yogurt and things like that, grass-fed yogurt, things that don't have very many hormones. Commercial yogurts are going to have a lot of hormones, and when we ingest those, we're going to get things like hormone imbalances. So. Other things that you can do to get fermented, you know, fermented foods to get good, healthy bacteria in the colon are things like kombucha or sauerkraut or kimchi, things that are fermented vegetables. Sometimes that's not going to work. You know, sometimes we need a higher concentration of probiotics. So that's why probiotics is something, you know, it's more like insurance because we're not getting all the time every single day. We're not eating fermented foods. So it's another insurance strategy. Um, the quality is really important too. Um, some people do better with so soil-based probiotics, which is from the earth. Some people do good with dairy-based probiotics. So I recommend that to rotate them. You know, one month try soil-based, next month do dairy-based, and then next month might you know plant-based. And you just rotate them because just like antibiotic, antibiotic resistance occurs in our body, we also have probiotic resistance. So diversify your probiotics. Maybe switch them up every couple months or so and keep rotating the same way that we should keep our foods abundant and diversified as well because our body starts to resist the foods and the nutrients that we start to get overwhelmed by. We want to keep it diverse. And so here are the symptoms. If you are not taking probiotics and if you have too many bad bacteria in your colon, you're sick often. It's not normal, but it's very common for people to get sick seasonally. So now I see a lot of people who have immune system issues that, that might also be autoimmune related. And if you try a probiotic and you have a huge response to it and you just don't do so well, it doesn't sit so well, it could be that you have chronic immune condition where you have an autoimmunity, something like um, Hashimoto's or thyroid disease or something like uh, rheumatoid arthritis or MS. So that's when the, the immune system is on overload all the time. And that's when you're going to see things like you know the allergies, um, allergies, food sensitivities, etc. when you don't have enough life in the colon. 
uh, GI disease. You know, it is said that, that candida is one thing that's really knocking on our systems now and it's inspiring lots of things like cancer. So uh, if we reduce candida in the gut by with um, implementing more probiotics, then you might have a less likelihood of cancer. I've heard it said that as much as a 75% reduction of GI cancer by reducing some of these pathogens by um, bringing in the good guys, the alive guys. Acne and skin conditions, again I talked about skin before, but acne is very much rooted in bacteria that's growing on the skin. So basically, you know, the, if we're treating our mouth like a wastebasket, it's going to show on our skin. And so all the, the garbage is showing up here. So if we add life to it, it'll reduce some of that waste that shows up on the skin. Bladder infections, yeast infections, and, and um, also having urinary tract infections, same thing. That's also inspired by a lot of bad bugs in the system. So good guys will actually decrease this, especially strains like Boulardi. You've heard of things like lactobacillus and acidophilus. Those are things that are really common and also in things like yogurt. But Boulardi is one really good one for uh, a yeast infection re reduction. Now, when we're taking probiotics, if you get you know, 10 billion or more CFUs, that's what I recommend is 10 billion or more colony forming units. Yeah, maybe you know five to twenty is pretty good. Anything more than that, you know, I do deal with a lot of clients, and I figure out how much they need by doing specific lab tests, like which, which I could also help you with if you'd like. So shoot me an email if you'd like more information about that. Some people need more because they've been taking so many drugs for so long and antibiotics for a long time that they need to restore their gut in a major way. But you're going to increase your vitality if you're taking 10 billion to 20 billion or so and 10 strains is a good idea 10 different strains or more like 10 different dogs you'll see on the back of the label it'll say how many strains so that's a good idea you know that keeps it pretty diverse so it will increase your vitality reduce the amount of pathogenic activity that will eat all the bad bacteria you know, the bad guys um, if you have a lot of uh, pathogenic overwhelm you know, in your system, your, your body is going to be able to metabolize less of your nutrients and you're going to have things like you know, anemia, you're going to have lower B vitamins, you're going to have you know, lower D and D deficiencies. I see a lot of this in my practice and these things, it's not just about taking a B vitamin or a D vitamin or you know, taking more iron, it's about figuring out why we have a reduction of those things in the system. And a lot of times it's because of one of these three things or all of the above those pathogens are really invading the system and decreasing our body's ability to absorb those things. Weight loss is huge, so when we have more life in the, in the colon, we can get rid of more, secrete it, going number two, and we lose weight. So we're able, our detoxification pathways are turned on, we're going to the bathroom, the average American goes to the bathroom every two days or so, and we should be going at least twice a day, you know, once twice a day. So it really inspires detoxification pathways and weight loss and disables a lot of the toxins to get out of the body. Um, reduces your allergies and environmental response. Like I said before, allergies, food sensitivities, etc. We have a lot of people who are sneezing and have sinus infections and have head colds and you just can't sleep. So this is huge. If you take probiotics, it's going to help you with immunity and ideally your immune system calms down so you're not so allergic to so many things. So the bottom line is to boost immunity. That's the whole idea with probiotics. You've seen so many of these things. A lot of these things have you know overlap where you know lazy food could also be food sitting in your stomach because you don't have enough enzymes. So these things are all very interchangeable and interrelated. I recommend that you take these things or consider taking them for, you know, starting now, if not for the rest of your life, uh, because these things are at least insurance that if you're not taking them in food form, especially the food that is super mineral deplete today, it is said that we need to eat four heads of broccoli to equal one head of broccoli from the 1950s. Same thing with apples and things because our soil is so deplete and a lot of the nutrients we used to have in the soil no longer exist or exist in tiny, tiny portions, so we end up mineral deplete. So I'm Diane Kayser. I hope this helped. I'm a consultant for Biospec Nutritionals. I look forward to producing more of these videos for you guys so you can learn a little bit more about how to supplement, which to supplement with, and how to get it from whole foods ideally, which symptoms are associated with each one of these deficiencies, so you can learn how to become your own best doctor and know when to take these things and know what to grab from the medicine cabinet to experience some more relief, symptom reduction and to anti-age and feel much better, live more vitally and be able to sleep better, think clearer and have a lot more energy and be able to stave off some of the weight that we're seeing with uh, Americans, the average obesity. We've got two out of three Americans are overweight. So hopefully these tips will help. If you need to contact me, my information is below. Otherwise, happy wellness to all of you. This message is brought to you by Kaiser Wellness. Live like a warrior.